Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Travis RC. If you can't tell already, we are on the road. Uh, we're going to be checking out a new hobby store today. Uh, I live in Chautauqua, Wisconsin. We're headed over to Woodbury, Minnesota. Um, this is the closest hobby store to my house, which really sucks because it's over an hour away. So uh, this place is called Dollar Hobbies with a Z. You can check them out at dollarhobbies.com, I believe is the website. Uh, it's a really nice little store. Uh, they've got, uh, they're very car centric. Um, so, you know, they got a ton of like Arma and Traxxas and Low C and Associated and HPI and et cetera, et cetera. It's just a really nice little store. And I believe actually they do online sales as well. If you check out their website, um, I guess they have a big warehouse. Uh, they do some online sales. Um, and I believe they even do same day shipping um, a lot of times too. So maybe uh, maybe I should, when I'm getting parts and stuff, I should check them out more and maybe I'll get that get, get my parts even just a little bit faster since they're so close. Um, but I'm not going there without a purpose. Um, if, you, uh, if you remember in the last video, I posted an update um, since I hadn't posted anything in, you know, probably almost a year, honestly. Um, I mentioned in that video that there are some big plans for the channel. When I say big plans, I mean big plans. Uh, you might have seen my post in the uh, in the community tab here as well, um, with a few different options for uh, maybe what I should get for my next uh, RC vehicle. So I've more or less made a decision um, on that, what we're going to be getting. So that's going to be kind of the goal of this video, um, and I will uh, wait to show you what that is until we're actually getting it. It's it's a beautiful day out. It's 45 degrees outside right now. It's really the first day that it feels like spring is here and summer is upon us. Um, so it's a really good day to be out for a drive, check out a hobby store, uh, go spend a bunch of money there. So it's gonna be a really fun day. And the, the nice thing with the weather too is it looks like the snow should be melted just in time for us to have some fun with this uh, new vehicle that we're gonna be purchasing today. So, uh, good things ahead for today's video. I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, make sure if you're not subscribed yet, please, please, please subscribe. Um, you know, let's uh, let's see if we can get some more subscribers here and grow the channel and we can do, you know, more cool things because of that. So we will uh, see you when we get to the hobby store there. Um, we're probably uh, about roughly an hour away or so yet still. So we'll catch it. All right, guys, here we are in this uh, kind of strip mall type of building. Drones, planes, boats, Sarsi car racing, birthday parties. We are at Dollar Hobbies here in Woodbury, Minnesota. Let's go in and check it out. Good, how are you? So lots of cars, lots of boats over here. Lots of models on display, which is nice. There's a Creighton. That was one of the, uh, this one's been run. One of the options that was in that uh, community post we made. Man, that suspension feels so nice. It'd be great for big jumps. Some TRX4 stuff. A lot of Arma stuff here. Tracks of stuff. Ooh, a no prep drag roller. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty rad. That Camaro's pretty sweet. Three XRTs sitting there. A few T Maxes. That was my very first RC. It's a 2.5 T-Max before the 3.3s even came out. Got a couple X-Maxes up there. Whole wall of bodies. Nitro Kyosho USA 1, that's pretty rad. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, it's gotta be the same platform as the old uh, Twin Force, I believe it was. Got the Sun Racing Dually. Max 2.0. The Jado. I remember when that first came out. 
some TRX 4Ms. I know there's a whole uh, tracks of situation going on with those right now. We'll leave that for another uh, day. HPI Nitro Rally Car. Traxxas Corvette. Armand Fraction Felony. Kind of a whole section of mini crawlers and mini vehicles here. SMT 10, I had one of those for a while there when I worked for Monster Jam. We got a huge discount on those. This is pretty rad. TRX4 with tracks. Bronco. Scratch and dent 15 off. Okay. Got some different Bronco options there. That's pretty rad. I really like the idea of having a TRX4 to build up, but I uh, honestly, I, I feel like I'd get too bored with the crawlers and I, I wouldn't keep it very long. Lots of areas I could run it, but. Creating some more Arma stuff here. Six S Creighton's, Dementor. A Notorious there. I believe my future father-in-law has a Notorious, I want to say it is, which I think is a 6S. I don't know what these are. I haven't seen that before, but for 115, that can't be a bad deal. Mini Bs, Mini Ts. Wow, those retros are pretty rad. We've got all sorts of parts, oils, lubes, more boats. I got that six scale, I believe it is axial crawler up there. The Traxxas UDR. More bodies. Nothing too exciting over here, just parts. Crazy. It's like some X-Max tires. I don't know what those cost, but I've heard they aren't cheap. Some other selections for those, some Pro-Line paddles for them. Quite a few options there for uh, X-Max stuff. More tires. A lot of tires over here. Mostly tires over here. Some pit accessories. Like I said, there is a track here, so they've definitely got racing tires and, and whatnot. Bunch of wheels, glues. Here's the racetrack. Very different layout than it was the last time I was here. So they must just move around a bunch. That's pretty rad. Nobody here now. I'm actually surprised nobody else is here but me. The last time I was here on a Saturday, it was pretty, pretty packed. See, I haven't been up here before. This is pretty rad. Got a whole kitchen, pizza maker, TV lounge area, pool table even. You got all of these tables with power for pit stations. Take a look at the track from up here on the loft. Yeah, this is a really neat little facility. All right, picking back up. Just talk to them for a second. Some paint stuff, some more stuff on display. TRX 4M over there, that's pretty rad. Really love those new Broncos. Transmitters. The six scale axial. I think is, I think is such a piece. That'd be a blast actually. I got some merch here. Batteries, chargers. Oh man, that guy's getting a felony. 
think it moved to Vegas. Yeah. 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 Yeah
the guy gave me my total for the X-Max and stuff. I'm like, you know, actually, I think I'm going to grab a few more things. So I started to look at those SCX-24s. He's like, why don't you just go for the TRX-4Ms? Like, you know, they're they're more superior for this reason, that reason. They're only 20 bucks more. Um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get something that much bigger. And it's really not bigger. It's a 16th scale, um, the TRX-4M, compared to the SCX-24, which is, um, you know, I believe an 18th, I want to say. That's neither here or there. Um, cause I know that's something we've been talking about doing for a while and doing like a tabletop course and that sort of thing. So, um, but the TRX forum definitely has more features. And, um, so I want to gift two of them to my future brother-in-law, future father-in-law. Um, so I'm pretty excited to do that and be able to run those with them and that sort of thing. So, so, uh, that's where we're at cargo secure cargo loaded. Um, and now we are going to drive up to Stillwater, Minnesota to meet my buddy, Nate and uh go check out the twin cities or minneapolis auto show so we're doing well so far